Okay, here we go with the Keep Forevers for book 11. I'm going to do them all at the same time. So this is 11.2, and it is dividing with remainders. You straight this down. So you should pause the video and write what I have. Um, example one. So let's do the first one that they've got on the page. So six divided into 299. I know some of you do the short version of this and that's fantastic. What this division does is it prepares you later on for um, synthetic division and also for long division using rational expressions. So that will be handy in grade 11 because the premise is exactly the same. Okay, so let's think this through, and it may have been a while. 6 goes into 29, and we think 6 times 5 is 30, so that's too much. 6 times 4. 4 times 6 is 24. Subtract, and we're left with 5. Bring down the 9. You always line up your number above the last digit that you're using. So now 6 goes into 59. Well, almost 10 times, so not quite, so it's got to be 9. 9 times 6 is 54. Subtract, and we've got 5. And because they say divide with remainders, we will just end right there. So we'll leave 49, and then we'll just put remainder 5 up by it and we're finished. Let's do another one of this. This is one type that often has mistakes. So this is your next one on the page if you go down. This is 8 goes into 401. Um, some of you are doing this page because of this kind of question so let's watch carefully. 8 goes into 40 Five times, exactly. Five times eight is 40. Subtract, and I've got nothing. Bring down the one. Eight goes into one, nothing. So zero times eight is zero. Subtract, and I have a remainder of one. So always I am doing the exact same steps over and over. Okay, one more time. Let's go down the page again and we'll do this last question. Example three. Three goes, oh, I'm going to need some space. Three goes into 164. So pause the video, try, and then watch my solution and see if we thought exactly the same thing. Here we go. 3 goes into 16. Well, 3 times 6 would be 18, so that's too much. 3 times 5 is 15. Subtract, I'm left with 1. Bring down the 4. 3 goes into 4. 4 times. 4 times 3 would give me 12. 14 take away 12 is 2, and that's as far as I have to go. So 54, remainder 2. And if this is difficult, you're just going to watch my examples over and over. You're going to try the examples now that you've seen them, and then check and have me do the solution and see if you thought the same thing. And if not, just try it again until you get it. Once you get it, you'll have it forever. Okay, let's do 11.3. So 11.3... We're going to add one different thing. So 11.3, I'm going to go to the B page. And this is, again, dividing with remainders. And we're just using more numbers this time. So let's do this first one. So 11.3, write in your notes, dividing with remainders. And you can call this part two. 
because it's a continuation of what we've done. So let's do example one. Seven goes into 2,145. And exactly the same thing as what we did before. So 7 goes into, and we're thinking 7 goes into 2, but no, it doesn't. So now we go further. 7 goes into 21. Three times, I write it directly above the 1. 3 times 7 is 21. Oh, this is a good one because we're going to get that 0 part happening. Down comes the 4. 7 goes into 4, nothing. So we have to write that nothing. So 0 times 7 is nothing. Subtract and bring down the 5. And now, 7 goes into 45. Well, 7 times 7 would be 49. That's too much. 7 times 4 is 42. 7 times 6 is 42. That's the one we'll need. So 6 times 7 is 42, subtract, leaves us with 3, and that's all we're looking for is the remainder. So 306, remainder 3. Okay, let's do one more. So down the page again, let's do this one and see how fun it is. So example 2, 6 goes into 972. So, 6 goes into 9. Yes, it does this time. So, 1. 1 times 6 is 6. Bring down the 3. Or, sorry, subtract. And then bring down the 7. 6 goes into 37. 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. Subtract. That leaves us with 1. Bring down the 12 or the 2, sorry, which makes 12. 6 goes into 12 2 times. 6 times 12 is 12 and 0 for a remainder. When we have 0 as a remainder, we don't need to write anything as remainder. We just leave it because it goes in exactly. Okay, last one. Let's see what happens with uh, let's do something that looks kind of weird. Let's do Mm -hmm. How about this one? Number, this is going to be number two, or sorry, number whatever it is going across. So, this will be our example three. And we've got two goes into 1,277. Here we go. So, 2 goes into 1, nope, 2 goes into 12, yes, 6 times, 2 times 6 is 12, and pause if you haven't already and give it a try by yourself and then check, 12 take away 12 is 0, and then bring down the 7, 2 goes into 7, 3 times, 3 times 6 is or two, t 3 times 2, sorry, is 6. Subtract. Bring down the 7. 2 goes into 17. Well, 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 8 would be 16. This is where your time tables really come in handy. 7 take away 6 is going to leave us with 1, and we're finished. So, remainder 1. Hooray! Okay, let's do the next one. 11.4. Um, 11.4, I'm going to start on the A page. So let's do that first question. And notice our instructions here. Divide to two decimals if necessary. If necessary means if you quit before two decimals, then you're just finished and you don't have to go all the way to two decimals. So let's write this, 11.4, dividing to two decimals if necessary. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. So, example one. Four goes into 314. So, three goes, or four goes into three, nope. Four goes into 31. Well, four times seven would be 28. Four times eight would be 32, that's too much. So four times seven. Four times seven is 28. Subtract. And bring down the four. Three goes into 34 eight times. Eight times four is 32. Subtract. And we've got two, so we need to keep going. And now here, maybe I should have done this at the beginning. I should have put divide to two decimals if necessary. So let's put the decimal and two spots. This decimal will go directly above where it is in the question already. And now let's bring down the zero. Four goes into 20 five times. 4 times 5 is 20, subtract, and we have 0. So in this case, we don't need to divide to two decimals because we are finished already, and we don't need to continue. Um, let's try the next one going across. 6 goes into 73. So example 2. 6 goes into 73. Let's put our decimal and our two zeros at the beginning. Up goes our decimal. Okay, so six goes into seven one time. Six times one, or one times six is six. Subtract, bring down the three. Six goes into 13 two times. Two times six is 12. Subtract, we get one, and we keep going. So down comes the zero. Six goes into 10. Um, two times, nope, just once. One times six is six. Subtract. And let's bring down that zero. So six goes into 40. 5 times 6 would be 30, 6 times 6 would be 36, 7 times 6 would be 42, that's too much, so 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 40 take away 36 is 4. And because it says divide to two decimals if necessary, it was necessary for us to do that. And now we still aren't finished and have a remainder, it's fine. When we do to two decimals, we leave that remainder sitting right there. We don't have to write it up top. We are finished. So this will be our final answer, just like that, with the work. Perfect. OK, one more. Um, let's try 6 goes into 325. So this will be example 3. So try this one by yourself, see if you can do it, and then we'll take a look. Okay, let's see if we did the same thing. So 6 goes into 32, um, 4, 4 times exactly. No, 4 times 6 will be 24, 5 times 6 will be 30, 6 times 6 will be 36, so that's too much, 5. Um, 5 times 6 is 30. Subtract, bring down the 5. 6 goes into 25 four times. 4 times 6 is 24. Subtract, oh, and I forgot to put a decimal and 0, 0. There we go, up goes our decimal. Bring down 0. 6 goes into 10 um, one time. 1 times 6 is 6, subtract, bring down the 0, and 6 goes into 40, um, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. And we subtract, and we get 4. Now, here's the interesting thing on this one. You are absolutely fine to stop here, because those are the instructions. Divide to two decimals if necessary. The if necessary part allows you to continue if you notice something that would make it able to continue easily. If you don't notice anything, don't do anything. Just leave it. But you might notice, oh, this is the same. I'm going to end up, if I did another 0, I would bring it down, and I would have the 40 again. 6 goes into 40 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. That's going to give me 4 when I subtract. And if I brought down another 0, I'm going to have that exact same thing continue to happen and happen and happen. So I know I'm going to have 54.166, and then it will continue with 6s. So I can write 6 repeating and leave it like that. And that would be my exact answer. And I wouldn't need to do two decimals. I could go to that third, or I could do the repeating here if I noticed that and knew that would work out. And that would also be correct. So either of those three answers is absolutely perfect. Okay, see, this was great. Here we go, 11.5. And, oh my goodness, 11.5 is the last one. This is so great. So, 11.5, divide to one decimal, if necessary, okay, let's do this second one, so this is page A. So 0.8 divided into 179.4. So here's the great thing with this. You know how to divide when we don't have a decimal at the front. So what you're going to do is move that decimal as many places as you need to so that you don't have a decimal in that question. So we're going to move the decimal one place so it's right against the divide sign. If we do that, we have to move this one one place. Up it goes. And it's small, so we'll need one zero. And now we're thinking eight goes into this whole thing. So in my mind, and you don't have to rewrite, but I'm just going to rewrite for us. So eight goes into 179, oh, not 0.4 anymore, just 1,794. Point zero. And now it's exactly the same as 11.4. So here we go. 8 goes into 17 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract. Bring down the 9. 8 goes into 19 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract. Bring down the 4. 8 goes into 34. 4 times. 4 times 8 is 32. Subtract. Bring down the 0. 8 goes into 20. 3 times. Oh, and I need to move that decimal up. I should have done that already. 8 times 3 is 24. Oh, that's too much. 8 times 2 is 16, bring down the 4. Now, this is an interesting one because, again, I could leave it right there, and that is perfectly correct according to the instructions. Divide to one decimal if necessary. I might realize, oh, if I did 40, 8 goes into 40 five times, and then I would have no remainder at all. So you can continue and do that if you want. So I could add another 0, bring down, 8 goes into 40 five times, 
5 times 8 is 40, remainder 0. So that answer would be correct also. Next, uh, let's do, how about this one? 7 goes into 105.4, or 0 0.7, sorry. So, example 2. Okay, I think you can try this one before I even talk and see if you can do it. So pause while I finish writing, you start, and then watch and see if we have exactly the same thinking. Here we go. Maybe decimal. So decimal comes up top, add one zero, and let's start. Seven goes into 10, one time. One times seven is seven. Subtract, bring down the five. Seven goes into 35, five times. Five times seven is 35. Subtract, bring down the four. Oh, and this is another one of those good ones where we must have that extra, not extra, but we must have the zero in the answer part. So seven goes into four, nothing, no times. So zero times seven is zero, subtract. And now I can bring down another zero and seven will be able to go into 40. Seven goes into 40, five times. Seven times five is 35. Subtract, and that's my remainder. Seven goes into five, and if I think about that a little bit, it's gonna be nothing great that I'll be able to end quickly with, so I might as well just quit right there. Okay, example three. Try this one. And after you do these three, I am sure you will be very ready to do the rest. Um, let's do, this is the last one on the page. Point four goes into 145.8. Okay, stop, do it, and let's check. Here we go. Slide over our decimal, slide, slide, move it up, add a zero to go to one decimal if necessary. Four goes into 14, three times, three times four is 12, 14 take away two is two, and down the five. Four goes into 25, six times, six times four is 24, 25, take away 24 is 1, bring down the 8, 4 goes into 8, 4 times, 4 times 4 is 16, 18, take away 16 is 2, bring down the 0, 4 goes into 20, oh how nice, 5 times, and that's going to end exactly, 4 times 5 is going to be 20, Remainder, zero. Okay, you're so smart. Okay, finish up those booklets. I am so impressed. Okay, be good. We'll talk to you later.